There's a story about a party on a cruise ship and speeches are being made by the captain and crew and other people. And there's an elderly gentleman who is sat as a guest of honor and is a little bit embarrassed as the praise is being heaped on him. But earlier that morning, a woman had fallen overboard and within seconds, he was in the dark water beside her and he rescued her and became a hero. And he was asked to come to the microphone and give what was to be a hero's speech of courage. But to the crowd's amazement, he said, all I want to know is who pushed me in? That man's courage wasn't exactly the picture of true courage in the end. As Christians, we're called to courage in defending the truth. But sometimes the actual picture of courage from Scripture and what God has in mind is maybe a little different than what we actually exhibit when we don't do it with the balance of compassion that ought to drive that courage. As the last part of our 24-7 Influence series this Sunday, we're talking about the mix of courage and compassion. Because compassion can be compromised by what we call courage and become rudeness, brashness, judgmentalism. But compassion, without the courage to say what needs to be said, can become this blind, radical acceptance or sentimentality that isn't loving at all because it allows people to continue to destroy themselves if I don't have the courage to tell them they need to stop. How do we balance the two? Because when we do, we just might surprise some people. And in doing so, we might open the door for them to be surprised by Jesus. We're going to talk more about it this coming Sunday. Hope to see you there.